Rasmus Dahlin is a Swedish-born defenseman who was drafted first overall in the 2018 NHL entry draft to the Buffalo Sabres. Currently, after two seasons with the team, he has played a total of 141 games and has put up 84 points. Unfortunately, he has not yet experienced any playoff time. However, they did just make a big pickup in Taylor Hall, so I guess we'll see where that goes. I'm sure there was some other moves too that I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but yeah, they have a... Pretty good looking top six, and their defense looks good with Ristolainen and Dahlin, and uh, definitely players I'm forgetting. But anyway, Buffalo fans out there, you know. So let's hop into a simulation on NHL 21, and let's see what EA Sports thinks will happen with Rasmus Dahlin's NHL career. So as you probably expected, we're starting in year number one, where Taylor Hall, Eichel, and Olofsson make up the first line. We got the Rasmus duo as the first defensive pair, and then Hutton will be the starting goaltender. Dalin is on his final year of the ELC, and the team finishes sixth in the entire league with 102 points and 48 wins on the year. Dalin would put up 43 points for himself, playing the full 82 games, no injuries or anything like that. And John Klingberg would lead defenseman this year. He put up 75 points. The Golden Knights are Stanley Cup champions, first Stanley Cup in franchise history, coming in year one here, and as you saw, Lafreniere won the Calder, because we're not simulating him anymore, and that's usually how it works. The Sabres were eliminated in five games, round one against the Florida Panthers, not much to talk about when it comes to retirement this year. Year number two, Olafson, Eichel, and Reinhardt going to be the first line, and we've got the Rasmus... Duo, Rasmus squared as the top defensive pair. Grubauer now going to be the starter with Mackenzie Blackwood as the backup. A six-year, $9.7 million deal for Dalin, And the team finishes second in the league this year. They tied, actually, but just couldn't quite get the President's Trophy. They lost in the tiebreaker. Dalin would put up 66 points, once again playing 82 games. And John Carlson of the Washington Capitals is going to lead the league this year. He had 74 points this season. The Tampa Bay Lightning are Stanley Cup champions. And you see Grubauer clearly did some work there for Buffalo. He won a couple trophies, but they were eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Tampa Bay Lightning in round two, taking seven games. And Big Z, well, I guess for Canada, it's Big Z. But anyway, top retiring defenseman this year. Let's get started with year number three, where Olafsson, Eichel, and Reinhardt are still the top line. I guess it clearly seems to be working, so why not, right? Rasmus squared, still going to be the top defensive pair, and Grubauer and Blackwood as the two goaltenders. The team would not do so well this year. They put up 84 points, and that's good enough for sixth in the Atlantic Division. Dalin would put up 41 points in 82 games, so averaging half a point per game. And Carlson would lead defenseman again here, tied with Petrangelo, but... He still got the tiebreaker. He put up 77 points this season. And the Seattle Kraken are going to win their first Stanley Cup. So that's another one there in franchise history. That's huge. Brent Seabrook is the top retiring defenseman this season with 500 points. Year 4, Skinner, Eichel, Reinhardt. Top line for the Buffalo Sabres. We got Rasmus Squared, who is still going to be the top two defenders, and Grubauer is still there, but McKenzie is no longer present. I don't know where he went, but, you know, they still got a good goalie, so that's all that matters. Team misses out on the playoffs this year, fourth in the Atlantic with 88 points. Dalin would put up 56 points and have a plus 21, which is nice. 82 games again as well. Man is an absolute unit, just cannot get hurt or anything apparently. John Klingberg will lead defenseman this year, where he puts up 78 points. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to be this year's Stanley Cup champions. Brent Burns will be the top retiring defenseman this time around, just shy of 900 points. Here we go with year number five, where Skinner, Eichel, and Reinhardt is still going to be the number one line for the Sabres. And we've no longer got Rasmus squared. He will now be playing with Yoki Haru. He's also 91 overall, so certified beautician. Grubauer will now be backed up by Subban, and the team will make the playoffs this year. Fourth in the Atlantic again, 91 points this time around, and 43 wins. Dalin would put up 56 points for himself, playing 82 games again. This guy is invincible. John Carlson 
played 80 games and put up 78 points, leading the league once more. And the Chicago Blackhawks are going to be Stanley Cup champions for this year. And we see another sweep in the finals. Love to see it. The Buffalo Sabres were eliminated by the Leafs in the first round, taking five games. I severely doubt it. And Latang is the top retiring defenseman this year with 782 points. Year six. I don't know why. It feels like I've been doing this forever, and we're only at year six, so that's strange. But anyway, Cousins, Eichel, Reinhardt, first line, Yoki Haru, and Dalin, still the top defensive pair there. Well, I guess two years consecutive here. Grubauer and Subban probably going to split starts this time around, and the team finishes fourth in the Atlantic again with 86 points this time, making the playoffs. Dalin putting up 58 points, playing 82 games. Seriously, does this man have a normal human body. It's insane. Ekman Larson leads defenseman this year with 73 points. And Chicago is going to go ahead and win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups here. Two in a row for them. There you go. They didn't sweep this time. Five games in the finals. It's close. Sabres were eliminated in the conference finals there against the Tampa Bay Lightning, taking seven games. They were so close to the finals, but just couldn't do it. Petrangelo, top retiring defenseman. For year number seven, the first line will consist of Skinner, Eichel, and Reinhardt, so a reunion there. Deli, 92 overall, going to be playing with Yoki Haru, and Grubauer still going to be the starter at 81. Martin Jones, the backup. The team finishes last in the Atlantic Division, 81 points, 37 wins this season. Dalin would put up 61 points, however, in 82 games, so a very good season for him. Haskinen would end up leading the league with 69 points, but yeah, as you can see, Dalin finished third in the league for defensemen. So yeah, he's having some great seasons, and he just can't quite get to the top there, but he's working on it. The Pittsburgh Penguins are Stanley Cup champions this time around, and the Carlsons are both going to retire this year. Year number Ovechkin. Stone, Eichel, and Reinhardt will be the first line for the Buffalo Sabres this year. Dalene going to be playing with Yoki Haru, and Grubauer going to be backed up by Braden Holpe. A shiny new seven-year $13.3 million for Dalene, securing the bag. The team finishes eighth in the league with 100 points on the season and 47 wins. Dalene, 66 points in 82 games. Is that even a surprise at this point? I don't think so. Haskinen will lead defenseman, though. He had... 68 points on the season, and the Wild, the ones with the bear in their logo, Minnesota, going to win their Stanley Cup here. And we also got Brady Kachuk, as you saw in the trophies there. He plays for the Wild. That's my Be a Pro bromance. But anyway, the Buffalo Sabres, five games, round one. Florida Panthers, they're done. Tory Krug, top retiring defenseman this season. The final season before the double digits middle stats going to be up on the first line with Eichel and Reinhardt now. That first line looking very good. Dalene going to be playing with Addison as the top defensive pair. And Grubauer now down to 77 overall. We'll be backed up by Keatley. That's rough. But anyway, the team finishes sixth in the Atlantic this year. 39 wins and 83 points. Dalene putting up 67 points in 78 games, which is insane. He would actually lead the league this year. Finally not playing the 82 games. If you can believe it, he is, in fact, a human. Colorado Avalanche are going to be the Stanley Cup winners this time around. No trophies for Dalene, even though he was the top point defenseman this year. Brutal. Doughty, with 985 points, is the top retiring defenseman this year. It is time to get into the double digits, where Connor Brown, Jack Eichel, and Sam Reinhardt will create the first line. Rasmus Dahlin is 92 overall. What an absolute machine. And Samsonov is going to be the starting goaltender at 85 overall. The team will finish fifth in the Atlantic this year, 91 points on the season. And they would make the playoffs. Dahlin would put up 61 points in 82 games, but have a minus 25. I'm not sure what happened there. But Quinn Hughes absolutely dominates this year, having more than a point a game, 83 points this season. It's incredible for him. And the Winnipeg Jets are going to be Stanley Cup champions. Seven games there against Pittsburgh. The Buffalo Sabres would be eliminated by the Boston Bruins in round one, taking five games. They really aren't doing so well in the playoffs for the most part. And Morgan Riley is the top retiring defenseman this season. Let's hop into year number 11, where Middlestat, Eichel, and Reinhardt will make up the first line for the Buffalo Sabres. Dalene and Addison will be the top defensive pairing, and Hirima will be backed up by Merzlikens. 
The team finishes second in the league this year. They had the same amount of points as Toronto, but lost in the tiebreaker. And Dalene would put up 70 points in 82 games, a plus 22 on the season. Quinn Hughes would lead defenseman again this year. He put up 73 points in 79 games. And the Golden Knights are going to win themselves another Stanley Cup here. I believe that's number two for them, but I'm not quite counting. Trevor Wong, he always seems to do very good as well. Maybe we should simulate him in the near future. Buffalo would be eliminated by the Detroit Red Wings in round two, taking seven games. And Dougie is going to be the top retiring defenseman this year with just under 700 points. The first line for the Buffalo Sabres will not be as good as it has been in previous years, but the second line's really good, which is strange. Anyway, Dalene and Addison still going to be the top defensive pair. And then we got Bazina is the starting goaltender with Caden Primo, the backup. The team will finish 7th in the Atlantic with 88 points and 43 wins. And Dalene will put up 60 points in 82 games, being a minus 2 this year. Quinn Hughes... Putting on another performance here, he puts up 83 points in 82 games, and the Seattle Kraken are going to be the Stanley Cup champions. Tim Stutzla seems to be doing quite well with the Senators over there. I think he's winning several trophies, but anyway, Matt Dumba is the top retiring defenseman this season. We are now hopping into year 13, where we see Reinhardt, Lundell, and Rosa as the first line. Dalian and Addison will be the top defensive pair again here. And we got Caden Primo, backed up by Philip Gustafson. The team will finish third in the Atlantic with 100 points and 46 wins on the year. We only got 63 games out of Dalian this year, and he put up 43 points in those games. Adam Boakvist will be the defensive leader with 78 points in 80 games, almost getting point a game this year, but just missing out on it. The Philadelphia Flyers, Broad Street Bullies, are the Stanley Cup champions, and a sweep in the second round will eliminate the Sabres there against Tampa Bay. Neil Pionk is the top retiring defenseman this season. The first line for the Buffalo Sabres this year would consist of Rizzi, Lundell, and Rosa, and we still got Dalene at 92 overall. He's an absolute menu. Gustafson and Jari most likely going to split the starting role there. Team finishes 7th in the Atlantic this year, and Dalene puts up 58 points in 71 games with a minus 4. Quinn Hughes going to lead the league once more here. He put up 77 points this season, and the Calgary Flames are your... Stanley Cup champions, the Calgary Flamis. Yeah, Tim Stutzla's lighting it up. Anyway, Seth Jones will be the top retiring defenseman this season. He had 813 points in his career. Let's find out what Dalene can do in year 15 here with the Sabres. Hammerleek, Lundell, and Rosa, the first line. Backlund will be the new partner for Dalene, and Boyce will be the starting goaltender. Dalene signs a new three-year, $15 million deal with the team that finishes sixth in the Atlantic this season, 38 wins. Dalene would play 65 games and put up 42 points with a plus 17. And Boakvist would lead the league this season for defensemen, 78 points out of him. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are going to be the Stanley Cup champions this go-round, and Provorov will be the top retiring defenseman this season, closely followed by Hannafin and Shabbat. For year 16, to start out here, Hammerleek, Lundell, and Rosa still going to be the first line. Dalene still going to be playing with Backlund, and Boyce still going to be the starter. So yeah, a lot of the starting positions didn't change this year, but their position did. They finished fifth in the entire league this time. Dalene would put up 91 points. I don't know where that came from, but he still got beat out by Scarabelli. You've got to be kidding me. Guy put up 92. We haven't seen numbers like that in forever, and of course, the one season he goes off, he gets one-upped. But anyway... The Minnesota Wild are going to win a Stanley Cup here, beating out the Devils in six. And the Buffalo Sabres would lose to the Devils. They'd actually get swept in round two. And we got Brandstrom as the top retiring defenseman this season. He had 823 points. For, I believe, the third consecutive year here, Hammerly, Lundell, and Rosa going to be the first line. Ollie and Dahlin, the top defensive pair, and they don't have a goalie over 80, which is kind of unfortunate. But the team gets 84 points this season, good enough for fourth in the Atlantic and a playoff spot. And they also get 65 points out of Dahlin. Boakvist dominated defenseman this year. He had 93 points. Next closest to him had 73. So yeah, quite the year for him. The Boston Bruins are 
Stanley Cup champions this time around, and they would also beat out the Buffalo Sabres in the conference finals, taking five games. Adam Boakvist would retire this season as the top retiring defender. Hopping into year number 18 now, Hammerleek, Lundell, and Rosa still going to be there. Lundell tailing off quite a bit. So is Darlene, though. He's at 83 overall, and they've got an 83 overall goaltender now backed up by 81. So that's not too bad. He signs a new year with the Sabres, $13 million over two years, and they finish sixth in the Atlantic. Not great. Darlene would put up 61 points, though, so he had his guy playing 82 games this year. And yeah, not bad for an 83 overall. 90 would lead defenseman this time around with 74 points. And we got a Stanley Cup headed to California. The Los Angeles Kings are going to take it home. Quinn Hughes is the top retiring defenseman this season. One year before 20, Hammerleek and Rosa have a new center in Yannick this season. And Dalene down to 80 overall will be on the second pair for the first time in his career. The team will finish fifth in the Atlantic, putting up 35 wins and 80 points on the season. Dalene had 35 points in 82 games, still leading defensemen on his team somehow. And Chistov was going to lead the league for defensemen this year. He had 75 points. The Arizona Coyotes are the Stanley Cup champions. And Dalene. Would call it quits this year. He almost got to 1,000 assists. That would have been crazy. But yeah, he played 1,645 games, had 218 goals, 966 assists for a total of 1,184 points. He was also a plus 70, and he had that one 91-point season, which was clearly the highlight. Unfortunately, not much playoff luck, though. Although he himself did put up points when it mattered. So this might actually be a first, but... We'll get to that in a second here. So contracts, he signed 21 years worth of contracts at a total of $51.785 million, including obviously his ELC, the first two years that we did not get to simulate for him. He actually played those seasons. Trophies, no, came up with nothing. Unless I missed something, I don't know. I don't think I did. Pretty sure they didn't win a President's Trophy, a Stanley Cup. Well, they definitely didn't win a Stanley Cup. And I also think he got absolutely shafted on individual trophies. On top of that, he only played for Buffalo. This has got to be one of the most empty things we've ever seen, which is insane considering what's about to come up next. So at number five all-time defensive points here, we've got Larry Murphy. He played 1,615 games and had 1,217 points. At number seven all-time, we had Nicholas Lidstrom. He played 1,564 games and had 1,142 points. And the number six defensive point getter of all time is going to be Rasmus Dahlin, who played 1,645 games and had 1,184 points. It's pretty insane that he never ended up winning a trophy. I, if, you know, someone points it out in the comments that he did, then good. I hope I missed something, but I'm pretty sure that he just came up completely dry in that department. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this simulation. Be sure to leave a like and sub. That would be tremendously appreciated. Also, be on the lookout for another poll to see who we should simulate next. I'm assuming that poll will already have come out by the time this video is out. So maybe go and look at my community tab to see if you can vote. And yeah, I guess that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.